Segment 18, Contracutting LXI. Now let's see how to create a printed and contracut decal from LXI 19 using a Muse vinyl cutter. There are actually two different workflows for this. One for desktop inkjet printers and one for large format printers. We'll cover the desktop workflow first, then we'll show you the large format print and cut process. For the desktop print and cut process, we'll assume you have an inkjet printer already connected to your PC. This is the workflow you would use to create small printed decals for things like t-shirt transfers or custom novelty magnets. Create your graphic in LXI using the design tools. For this segment, we'll keep it simple with a basic vector design. In this case, some text over an ellipse. Since we are using the small format desktop setup, notice I have set Design Central with a letter size workspace of 11 inches wide by 8.5 inches tall. This will fit a sheet of desktop inkjet paper such as Enduratex Darkjet. So, we'll start by selecting the ellipse. From the Effects menu, select Contour Cut. Design Central changes to show us a preview of the contour cut path inside the printed area. This is because I have preset the margin between the printed area and the contour cut as a negative value. As I increase this, you'll see we have a growing preview that shows us how far apart the printed area and the contour cut path will be. For excellent alignment of the printed and contour cut area, it's not a bad idea to actually make this a negative value, this is called a choke, and this will give us a little margin of error in aligning the print and cut paths. When we have a satisfactory setting, we'll click the green check mark or press the arrow key, the enter key, on your keyboard to apply it. Now that we've applied the contour cut, we'll go to the effects menu again and look for contour cut mark. Now you'll see that in LXI 19 there are some new options. We have the standard contour cut mark. There's also a page contour cut mark setting, in which case the entire page sets the boundaries for the contour cut marks. Or you can draw a rectangle and make that the boundaries of your contour cut marks. For this segment we'll simply choose contour cut mark. Now this gives us a preview, and you'll see that in Design Central there are a number of different options for different styles, types of contour cut marks. For the Muse Vinyl Cutter series, we want to select SAI Automatic Mark. Again, we'll click the green check mark, or press the Enter key to apply. Select everything on the page here, and then use the print icon on your desktop or the file print menu or function to send this to your desktop inkjet printer. It is a good idea to check the properties, selecting the best print setting and also the best orientation so that the preview is correct. In this case, we want to change this from portrait to landscape. Make sure that the design is centered in your preview and most importantly that it's scaled at 100%. This means that the print will not be enlarged or shrunken and this again ensures proper alignment when we send this to the vinyl cutter to be contour cut. Now we click OK and send this job to the printer. Once the job comes off the printer, Place it in the Muse in the same orientation from which it came from your desktop printer. Position the blade of your vinyl cutter over the lower right registration mark and set that as the origin point on the Muse using the Show Point feature. Now, from LXI, we'll use the File Cut Contour function. We'll click on this icon here, the Cut Contour icon. This will open the Cut Plot window and launch Production Manager. Make sure that the driver options are set at None in Production Manager as we did with our initial setup of the LXI software. 
This ensures that the speed and force settings will not override what we've set on the vinyl cutter. You can check these here on the driver options tab. And as you can see, they're set to none. We'll click the send button to start cutting. As you can see, the job has been sent to the Muse, and the Muse will respond by activating the camera, which will scan and display all four registration marks. The control panel on the cutter will show that what the camera scans so that you can see the alignment. Then the Muse will automatically contour cut the decal. Remove it, weed the excess, and you're ready for application. To contour cut with LXI using a large format printer, you will need an LXI RIP Design license. LXI RIP Design includes a powerful RIP engine, color management tools, and drivers for all PrisonJet large format printers. The beginning of the workflow is the same. You will create your design and add a contour cut path from the effects menu. However, since we'll be working with large format graphics and the raster files are more likely here, we'll show a little bit of different workflow using a raster image file that we'll import. So we'll use the import tool and select a TIFF file. I'm going to use the TIFF because TIFFs are raster files that typically have solid white backgrounds and we'll need to delete this in order to achieve a satisfactory contour cut decal. If you're not sure if your graphic has a solid white background, you can simply drag a shape underneath it, like so. I'm going to put this to the bottom of the stack using the control page down function, and you'll see that we have this box around the graphic. This is not going to work for a contour cut decal. As you can see, if we apply a contour cut here, we're going to get a box, not satisfactory. So we have to delete this background first. In order to do that, we'll go up to the bitmap toolbar and click Make Transparent with the magic wand. We simply click the magic wand over the transparent background, or over the white background rather. Click on it once and we get the marching ants, which are a preview of what we're going to remove. If that is satisfactory, we'll come to Design Central and click the green check mark, or of course, press the Enter key on your keyboard to apply. Now once again, if you're not certain, you can always drag a shape over here, push it to the bottom, and now we have the pleasing shape that we can apply a contour cut path to. So from here, the process will be the same. We'll select the effects menu and apply a contour cut. And again, we're going to apply a slight choke, although we could go for a nice white border if we wished. The check is going to give us a margin of error, and this is also supported by the fact that this graphic has a fairly bold stroke around it. The bold stroke is designed to allow us a margin of error so that when we add the choke, we're not cutting too deeply into the graphic. We'll now click the green check mark to apply the contour cut path, and at this point, since we're not going to send it to a desktop inkjet printer, all we need to do is select the graphic, and click Rip and Print. This will launch Production Manager and the Rip and Print window. So what we want to do here is manage the coordination between the printer and the vinyl cutter. The image is displayed in the preview window with the registration marks added. First, move this a little bit to the left to provide some a margin of error outside the printed registration marks. This gives the Muse vinyl cutter head some room to move to the right as it scans this lower right registration mark without running into the edge of the platen. This is very important. Next, we want to make sure we have the right settings for our printer by clicking on the color management tab and we'll change this ICC profile and let's set this for Prison Jet 203 Glossy Vinyl. Now back in the Preview tab, if we want to make copies, we can do so. And they will be previewed. 
It is also very important to note the size of the media. Since we are going to send this to a Muse M15, which is a fairly small format to cutter, I'm going to come to User Defined and select a different size of width for our graphic, say 14.9 inches. And then I can also change the job size itself and make this a smaller decal and then add some copies. Once we have our print job previewed, the most important part is to go to the Cut tab, the Contour tab. Now here, we want to make very sure that we have the correct vinyl cutter set and that the media size matches that in the printer window. So we're going to change this to User Defined and bring this to 14.9 inches so that they are in sync. The next most important step is to make sure this is set to Send as Separate Jobs. The options are print job only, which sends it only to the printer, contour job only, which sends it only to the cutter, or as separate jobs. When we do this, it will send, LXI19 will send the raster image file, the print information, to our printer, which is a Prism VJ24, and it will hold the contour cut path in the queue for the Muse vinyl cutter until we're ready to cut it. We also want to make sure we have the correct registration mark setting here, which we do at SAI Automatic Marks. And you can also check or uncheck one set for all copies. Leaving it at one set for all copies will, of course, save media and reduce waste. Finally, we want to come down to the Driver Options window and make sure, as before, that this is set to None. If it is not, you can edit this and change your settings here. It should not be cut on cut fast or cut slow or medium unless you want to override the settings on your vinyl cutter. So we're going to go back to none and click OK. Now we have everything set. We have the printer set here with a preview showing the copies, the size, and our margin of error for the cutter to scan around the registration marks. We have the proper ICC profile selected for good cut qu print quality and in our contour tab we have it set as send at separate jobs, SAI automatic marks and everything is set to use the cutter settings from the Muse. One more very important feature. In older tutorials from previous versions of LXI we had advice to change or expand these margins. Do not do this. Leave the, mar the panel set as it is in the default setting in your software. This will ensure that you have proper alignment on multiple cut and print jobs. We're all set. Now all we have to do is click send. And LXI will send the print information to the printer. As you can see, it is ripping or processing the raster image data, which we can check by looking at production manager and we'll see that in the print queue, the file is being processed. However, in the cutter queue, we see that the job is holding, waiting for us to send it to the vinyl cutter. So after this job is done on the printer, we will take it to the vinyl cutter just as we did in our earlier workflows, place it on the cutter and then send the job from here. When the print is finished, before you remove it from the printer, feed the media forward a couple of inches before cutting it off. This provides enough room behind the registration marks for the cutter to scan those marks and process the job automatically. Place the prints in the Muse vinyl cutter in the same direction it came off the printer. Position the blade over the lower right registration mark and set that as the origin on the Muse using the Show Point feature. This will be a good time to set the correct speed and force settings and perform a test cut near the bottom of the sheet outside the printed area. Now go back to Production Manager and find the job holding in the Muse vinyl cutter queue. Click on the job and then click on the Send icon in the top toolbar or right click and select Send. 
The mutes will respond and the camera will scan and display all four registration marks. The control panel will show what the camera scans so you can see the alignment in real time. Then the mutes will automatically contracut the decal. Remove it, read the excess and you're ready for application.